All right, so you want to duplicate this line segment, and you'll be doing this without a ruler. So you'll need your compass and a straight edge. Now this is kind of ghetto. I'm using a, a fraction bar, an old school fraction bar for projectors, but it's a straight edge. Notice that I'm not using a ruler to actually measure how the length, the exact length of this, we'll just be using our geometry tools. So the first step to duplicating a line segment is to create a ray. Uh, think about what a ray means. It is something that has an end point and keeps going forever. So you can make this a zong as you need to. The ray that you create should be longer than the line segment you're gonna duplicate. So I have an endpoint here, I'll also call this A. And I'm gonna now use my compass to measure this, ang uh, this line segment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my working end on A and I'm gonna open it until I get to B. So I'm right here. So I know how open this is. Um, without opening or closing your compass, you're going to, once again, just like you did here, here you had your needle on A, so it makes sense to once again put it on A. And when you use your compass, it's okay to make a hole in your paper. Uh, I usually make a little hole in my paper because it anchors it down and I can twist a lot easier. I'm gonna go ahead and mark off where B goes. So I know that B is around here and where it intersects your ray, that's where B goes. And you have now duplicated a line segment. Okay, this is line segment AB and once again, this is line segment AB. All right, what about if you're duplicating an angle? Well, think about what an angle is made out of. It's made out of two rays that share the same endpoint, okay, the same vertex. So it makes sense to go ahead and make another ray. Now, when we think about this, uh, the other ray, we don't exactly know how big to open it up, okay? Could be here, could be here, could be here. Uh, and we're not just gonna eyeball it. So, to duplicate it, uh, it needs to be exact. What you'll do is you'll open up your compass, any amount that you want. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, right around here. Any amount that you want, you're going to put your needle, you're working in on the vertex, of your angle and I'm gonna mark off a certain distance from the vertex okay you're still using you still using the same amount of opening you're gonna do the same on your new ray so for me I'm gonna do this now notice that I overestimated Class is over, almost. Notice that I overestimate it because I don't know exactly where the other ray is gonna go. So, to know exactly where it goes, what you'll do is you're gonna open up your compass or close from the two points of intersection that you have. So I'll put one end here and the other end I'll close until I get exactly where it intersects. Okay, it intersects here. So, I go to my new one now, and I'll do the same thing. I'll mark off, I'll put my needle where it intersects my ray, and this new mark represents where this ray should cross this arc. So all you have to do now is, you know that this is where it intersects. Going from the vertex 
over to your point of intersection is your ray. And there, you have just duplicated the angles.